Right now, I'm feeling like Tom Hanks in the terminal. I've been in this airport for way too long. Cancel. <laughs> Welcome to the Faroe Islands. Now we've had quite the mission getting here. Our flight was cancelled yesterday from Copenhagen and we've arrived around 36 hours later than expected. So our seven day trip has turned into a five day trip and boy, do we have lots to see. The Faroes are made up of 18 islands which were carved by volcanic activity and glaciers. Our trip starts on the island of Vagar at the small picturesque town of Gassel de Lure. I'm not quite sure why it took me to move to the other side of the world to want to visit the Faroe Islands, but I'm so glad that I waited. Visiting now as a photographer, I appreciate this experience so much more. Just the $22 for two coffees. After a big day exploring Vagar, and with already limited time in the Faroes, we jumped on a two hour ferry to the southernmost island of Suduroi. Isolated in the south, Suderoy bears the full brunt of the ferocious Atlantic weather. Unfortunately for us, most of our time was spent indoors, protected from the elements. Wild weather aside, we managed to venture out and explore around the town of Vagur.
the 100 to 400 came in extremely handy here as I sheltered from the gale force winds from the comfort of our rental car. After a wet and windy couple of days in Sudoroi, we headed back north to the island of Esteroi, the second largest island in the Faroes. The final stop of this five day road trip was the island of Straymoy, the largest and most populated island in the Faroes, home to the capital, Torshan. <laughs> 